told the news by now, UFC 281 is going down in Madison Square Garden, one of the greatest venues on the planet, and it will be headlined by none other than Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, taking on Alex Pereira. Yes, the bogeyman of Israel Adesanya's career. Now, if you know the history, okay, you probably know. Come on, everyone knows. They fought twice before in kickboxing, and Izzy lost twice before. Now, the first fight, I believe, was very, very close. Israel feels like he was kind of screwed by the judges. The second fight, according to Izzy, I was talking to him the other day, he said he was winning the fight, and then it was a big thunderous left hook from Alex Pereira that left him out cold. And that was, incidentally, the last fight that Izzy had in kickboxing before making the switch over to mixed martial arts, where... He quickly took over the sport. Let's be honest, he came in with that tremendous kickboxing background, put it to great use, and nobody could stop him. Nobody could beat him. Listen, when you fight Israel Adesanya, the theory is easy. The game plan's simple. Take him down. He's a kickboxer. Use the wrestling, take him down. Okay, and then that's Izzy's world. He's a tremendous kickboxer. The reflexes are ridiculous. The shot selection, the eye that he has, the speed, the leg kicks. I mean, look at that beatdown that he put on Paolo Costa. I mean, come on. He literally fucked Paolo Costa twice. Once in the fight and once after the fight. But still, we're not here to talk about that because that might get me kicked off YouTube. Uh, but that fight against Paolo Costa showed what Izzy is capable of. Now... Let's talk about this. UFC 281 is going down. Alex Pereira is the opponent, and he's coming into this one with a record of 6-1 and one in professional MMA. So it's a fast track to a title shot, that's for sure, but he's 3-0 and in the UFC so far. Last time out against Sean Strickland, knocked him out in the first round. 2 minutes 36, beautiful left hook, put Sean Strickland to sleep. Now, if you know the sport, if you follow the sport, you know that Sean Strickland was kind of closing in on a title fight. So if you beat the man, you become the man. Let's talk about the fight, because after Izzy's last one against Jared Cannonier, Dana White said at the press conference, I absolutely positively guarantee you that the next fight that Israel Adesanya fights will be absolutely nuts. And of course, it's easy to dismiss Dana there and say, now that's just a promoter being a promoter. But no, he knew what he was talking about. He's talking about Alex Pereira. The way Alex Pereira fights, he's a killer. When he fought Israel Adesanya, he goes forward. He's very, very aggressive, okay? More aggressive than Izzy. So you have to fight fire with fire, okay? Izzy has been around the UFC for a long time. Uh, and he's, he's, he's got better. Since he came to the UFC, he's done nothing but improve. Alex Pereira's coming into this one. Of course, he's going to be very confident. He's got two wins over the man, and the last one was by knockout. In the UFC's 3-0, last time out against Sean Strickland, by knockout. And this is essentially going to be the third fight, a third rematch of a kickboxing fight. I don't think either man is going to go for a takedown. I really don't, you know? So who do I think wins this fight? I think Israel Adesanya. I think Israel Adesanya and still. I don't think it's going to be easy. I think it's going to be exciting. I think Israel Adesanya is going to be pushed to the limit. I think he's going to take some shots. But I also think that he's grown into this champion, into this superstar, into this celebrity. And with that, with great power comes great responsibility. And he's getting better and better. He knows the threat that he's up against. Now, the danger is, this isn't kickboxing, it's MMA. The relevance being four-ounce gloves. If Pereira can knock him out in boxing gloves or 10-ounce gloves, he can certainly knock him out in 4-ounce gloves. So Izzy is going to be incredibly careful. He's going to take the training camp to the absolute next level, as is Pereira. It's a big deal for both of them. But I just think with the experience in the UFC, with the improvements that I've seen from Israel Adesanya and the lifestyle that he has... I just, I just feel like Israel Adesanya gets the job done. But I tell you what, it's not a confident pick. It really isn't. And I love what Alex Pereira brings to the table. And I love the fact that we're going to see two of the best strikers in the UFC going absolute toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's going to be war. I think we're going to see more strategy on the side of Izzy. I'm going to think we're going to see a lot of aggression on the side of Alex Pereira. And I think that the whole of Madison Square Garden is going to lose.